Hello everybody, Void here coming back at you all with another video. I know it's been quite some time. I've been preoccupied with other things and there just hasn't really been enough magic news to justify making more videos. But hopefully with more cards coming out here, I will have plenty to go over and even some more top 10s and some deck lists to make. So August 22nd, we get some spoilers here for a couple different products. We get the Commander Collection Green. Now this is one... I remember reviewing like earlier this year, if not even last year, we saw some spoilers for the artwork and I didn't quite know where they were going. Some of these were odd, you could kind of confuse them with other cards, because that's how it went. We saw the artwork for uh, two of these things here, Worldly Tutor and Seedborn Muse, and you thought, okay, well, those might be some other cards, but we get eight cards here. We get Command Tower and Soul Ring, which I think is kind of lame why you would have them included in Commander Collection Green. I don't think... Many people are going to play Command Tower in a mono green deck, or even Soul Ring, to be honest. If you have a lot of mana ramp, Soul Ring is just extra. You want a lot of green mana. Again, kind of a fail. I wish this was just eight green cards. But regardless, I do like this uh, newer Soul Ring. It does look pretty cool. The Command Tower, though, uh, I'm a much bigger fan of the original artwork for Command Tower. It was a lot more colorful. It kind of put emphasis on the fact that it could tap for whatever mana you needed. But we get Bane of Progress here. Fantastic green creature. Originally came out in Commander 2013. So it's a Commander original. Enters the battlefield. You destroy all artifacts and enchantments. That's why it's incredible. And then you put a plus one plus one counter on Bane of Progress for each permanent destroy this way. I've loved this card. It's incredibly dangerous. You can abuse it if you have a good ETB strategy. If you can bring it back from the graveyard, that's another way to abuse it. It's just a disgusting card. And Seedborn Muse. I thought this could also be Oracle of Moldiah from just looking at the artwork. And the fact that we're talking about staples in green. But Seedborn Muse is also a pretty good staple in green. You untap all permanents you control during each other player's untap step. Just all around a good card. I don't think it's just exclusively for green. Again, like Bane of Progress. But for Commander Staples in green, you want like the best of green. So I guess I can understand that. Omnath Locus of Mana. Now this is one that I think is spectacular. If you do go for mono green, you don't lose unspent green mana as steps and phases end. And it gets plus one plus one for each unspent green mana you have. Unspent must be a new keyword just to kind of condense the text. But either way, we understand what it means. Amazing commander if that's the way you want to go. Another good commander option is the Planeswalker Freilis Lanawar's Fury. I don't like this new New artwork I'm gonna come out and say it I think the artwork is ugly I think most artwork that's outside of all these special editions they're doing now tends to look pretty bad I miss the days when it actually was actual artwork and the Planeswalker art now is just not appealing whatsoever. It's the most boring thing ever. Plus two, create a 1-1 green elf druid creature token with tap to add one green. You can minus two her, which is a great minus two to destroy target artifact or enchantment. And her minus six is draw a card for each green creature you control, which is a very green ability. I mean, they're all green abilities, but all around just awesome. It's exactly what you want in Commander. You get advantage, you get removal, you get more mana dorks. It's pretty good. Sylvan Library, again, the artwork is kind of questionable. Wish it was something a little bit more library related, but we get uh, what appears to be two monks. I think everybody knows what Sylvan Library does. You get some extra card draw during your draw step. We get Worldly Tutor, which this was one I think is an absolute fail for artwork, thinking this was going to be Court of Calling. I mean, I'm not disappointed with Worldly Tutor. I think it's a card that needed a reprint, but it's Yisun, the Wandering Bard, playing what is likely a chord with his instrument. So you would think that with the animals behind him, it would be a Court of Calling. <laughs> so I, it's a little bit of a fail there, but I understand why they reprinted Worldly Tutor. That makes sense to me. Now, the other cards we get here are from Commander Legends. We get uh, some pretty good cards here. We get five lands, which are supposed to complement the Battle Bond lands that would come into play untapped. If you had two or more opponents, which is perfect for multiplayer, because you're likely going to have at least two opponents. But these are all the ones that we didn't get in Battlebot. We only got five of them before. We get Keeper of the Accord. Some of these are reprints, and some of these are brand new that I haven't seen before. At the beginning of each opponent's end step, if that player controls more creatures than you, create a 1-1 Soldier Creature Token at the beginning of each opponent's end step. If that player controls more lands than you, you may search your library for a basic planes card, put it onto the battlefield tap, then shuffle your library. Not a commander option, not legendary, but I think it's a solid card in white. 
it kind of takes something that would be really powerful like balance, but it allows you to balance the field in a way that benefits you without hurting really anybody else. So I think when you have just a pure advantage card, that's exactly what white needs without being incredibly oppressive. We get a reprint here of Prosh, which looks pretty cool. One of my favorite commanders. I think I've said that a million times on this channel. We get a Sengir the Dark Baron. Whenever another creature dies, you put two plus one plus one counters on Sengir. And whenever another player loses the game, you gain life equal to that player's life total as the turn began. So that is something you're going to have to keep track of. Might be a little bit of a pain, but also has partner, so you don't just have to rely on Sengir, you could have another option there. That option could be this Alina Kessick Trapper. First strike, you can tap her to add an amount of red equal to the greatest power among creatures you control that entered the battlefield this turn, which is something I think red could use more of, just easier mana sources. Not something I think is super powerful, but you never know. We have Halana Kessig Ranger, so I'm guessing those are the two that are supposed to partner with each other. Reach, and whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you could pay two, and when you do, that creature deals damage equal to its power to target creature. So they both focus on power, but other than that, I don't think they're really that strong. We get some extended art reprints of Command Tower and Commander Sphere. Really nice looking cards, and Prismatic Piper, that Seb McKinnon artwork, which this is what I'm talking about. We need just... We need artwork. I don't want to see all this other stuff. Like, this this doesn't look good to me. I like the Seb McKinnon art. You can just look at it, and it, it's just interesting. You kind of get what it's going to be about. If the Prismatic Piper is your commander, you choose a color before the game begins. The Prismatic Piper is the chosen color. Has partner, you can have two commanders if both have partner. I don't exactly know how the interaction is going to work out, the ruling. It might work if you have a color-focused deck. Other than that, I don't know how strong something like this could be. It's just weird. It's incredibly weird, but these tend to be some of the commander options that I lean towards, trying to make them as strong as possible. But, uh, you know, who knows? Something like this might be good if you have a decent partner to go with it. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think about this. Gonna be covering these as often as I can, going over spoilers. Maybe not doing as many live streams, but I'm just gonna be making shorter 10-minute videos. I love Commander. I think it's a wonderful format. I think it's awesome that we see more Commander support. Anyway, Void here signing off. Have a wonderful day.